Hello YouTube, this is Marcus with Design IY. Welcome back for another episode and today we're actually just going to be looking at one of the items in here and that item is this workbench. Now right now this is just a component that I uh, copied from the warehouse just to throw it in there and make it the right size but um, I'm actually going to have to make this because I decided that the table that I already have in the basement won't come out of the basement uh, without disassembling it. And rather than doing that, I just decided to go ahead and uh, construct two of them, uh, new ones. So I'll have the one in the basement and I'll have two more in the garage. So to start off with, uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy this guy and bring it over here and we'll paste. So this is the workbench kind of like we want but again this is somebody else's design this is not the actual wood pieces that I need you can see obviously you don't get this solid piece of wood uh, wouldn't work that way in real life so uh, first things first let's go ahead and measure it we're at six foot so that would be 72 inches and we're at two foot six which should be 30 so that's gonna be our dimensions and let's see the height which is three foot uh, so that is what we had designed around. So we have again 30 inches from front to back, 72 inches uh, left to right, and 36 inches off the floor. Why did I choose 36 inches off the floor? Well that's a standard uh, working height in for kitchen countertops. So I figured that would work out really well in the garage as well. So that's what I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out with just uh, making our top here which is going to be uh, 30 inches by 72 by another 30 and voila we have a top um, probably going to use 3 quarter inch thick plywood I think half inch is going to be a little thin uh, for using it as a workbench and I think one inch is way overkill so um, 3 quarter inch thick this will be our plywood. We'll go ahead and make this plywood color. Let's just match that. So, okay. Now we have our top. Go ahead and finish this all the way around. I know I could probably click and do this differently. But go ahead and. Uh, uh, before I make this a group, make it its own thing, uh, we got to decide how much overhang we want. And I did have this predetermined. I think I want three inches of overhang. That way I can have some room to clamp uh, to it and enough room to run some decorative pieces around here without it being too close. So uh, three inches of overhang is what we're going to use. I'll just use this um, offset. Oops. Try that again. Three inches. There we are. And we'll use 4x4s for legs because I think 2x4s are not going to be sturdy enough. So 4x4s uh, are actually 3.5 by 3.5. So we'll make that square there. 3.5. Control C, Control V. All right, so now we have our top. Make this top into a group. Now it is one component, we cannot take it apart. All right, so in order to make this thing uh, 36 inches tall, we've already taken 3 quarter inches thickness worth of the top itself. So that means our 4 by 4 legs should be uh, 35 and 1 quarter. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make a box. We have to make a second box because the first box is inside the group um, of the table. So you can't edit it unless you edit that group. And we want these to be 35 and 1 quarter for a grand total of 36.
So of course we don't want to screw the top directly onto these legs. So at this point we should probably figure out how we can make these four legs uh, be attached to one another without um, without the top being in place at all. Ideally I would like to be able to remove these tops uh, just for cost sake. I'm going to be using sheathing, uh, which is really rough cut instead of the nice sanded stuff. Uh, and I would like to be able to replace it in the future with maybe something laminated a little harder. So uh, let's make the top removable and see if we can't connect these legs. I suppose we can start with 2x4s, uh, but I don't want to take up all this room here that we have for overhang. So instead of giving us a, a thinner leg base and I risk tipping the table over and over, uh, let's just put the 2x4s on the inside and let's see what happens here. 2x4 is 3.5 by 1.5. Alright, there's our 2x4. All right, so the plan here is to make this a little bit more decorative on the front. So, and plus I kind of want to test out my new miter saw uh, for doing uh, miters. So I'm going to go ahead and do what my plan was, which was uh, use one by fours, one by threes, um, probably one by fours, so we cover up the whole two by four. And we'll just frame around the outside with the one by fours. So we're going to go down four inches and we're going to come out 0.75 because the one by fours aren't truly one. They are truly four though, which is odd. I need a tool. That's a holly. It's not there by default. So first I think I can make this loop and then get the hammer. Oh, that's not working. Almost is. All right, that worked beautifully. And when I say I wanted to miter those, I'm talking about the ends here so we can get this nice little 45 degree miter. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw those lines in. Awesome. So uh, in all honesty, I feel like these one buys are probably going to be strong enough uh, if we want to brace these things up down here on the legs, uh, then we can do that. Come on. Uh, then we can definitely do that. Uh, but at this point, uh, how are we going to actually attach our table? Um, so I was thinking we could use these L brackets and use really thin screws and uh, we'll attach the table that way. So we'll just have an L bracket here, an L bracket here, and here. It'll take a little while to draw in there, um, and it's pretty obvious what we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that off for now. Uh, but we could also have L brackets closer to the front edge um, if we wanted to, but then it would be visible. It would be on our decorative edge unless we squeezed it in down here. But it looks like it's going to be really difficult to get a drill um, in from this side, so it'll probably just stay on the center. And then whenever we pick it up, we'll just have to be careful not to pick it up by the top itself. Um, but if you do have three of those L brackets on either side, six total, and any of them, all of them have three screws, then um, yeah, we're looking at 18 half inch screws. Should probably hold pretty well. <clears throat> so uh, this is our table. Uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and make this whole thing a component. Uh, after I fix this one last edge here, edit group, and close group, this whole group here, make that a component. We'll call this workbench DIY. That is design DIY, not do it yourself create.
I also think these could be one by sixes instead of one by fours. Might look a little nicer. Looks a little skewed at the moment. So we're just going to use these instead of these tables here for our design. So clearly I, uh, I had already thought this through pretty well before we started this video. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to design something and then go out and make it. And then if we really want to know what our sizes are, we can always use our tape measure figure out what they are. So we got this 2x4 here and that's going to be 5 foot 6 inches or 66 inches long. We got two of those and then of course we can check our outside of miter outside of miter, outside of miter. It's looking like it's going to be 25 and a half inches long and then we have 67 and a half inches long so uh, if we cut our pieces to those dimensions, we should be able to make it right away. Uh, so this was a quick little build tutorial on just how I went about making this particular uh, top here on SketchUp. And if you'd like to stay tuned, the next video is uh, all about actually constructing this video or this uh, table here in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and change out this other one for the same thing. All right. So now we have real tables that we can build in real life, and that I indeed already did. So I'll go ahead and link that video. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this was quick and easy and uh, probably non-informative, but uh, take it, use it, uh, so that you can turn around, download SketchUp, use it yourself, and build whatever you want on SketchUp before you have to build it in real life. That way you can troubleshoot without wasting money. Thanks again. Marcus with Design IY. I'm signing out. So Marcus coming back real quick with an update. Just wanted to let you know I did decide that the 1x4s just didn't quite look as appealing as I wanted it to. And if you were on your knees or something, you would end up seeing the framing. So just to be a little bit more particular about it, I did change these front uh, pieces to 1x6s instead of 1x4s. And I think it makes the table look quite a bit more substantial. It's aesthetics, I know, but I figured it was important enough to interrupt the video and let you know that uh, these indeed did change from 1x4s to 1x6s when I actually got out there. Thanks. Now, this is Marcus signing out for real this time. Laters.